Hampton fire officials say about 50 snakes and some rodents died when a Hampton business caught on fire. Now, the business breeds the animals and sells them to pet shops, zoos, and other businesses, as well as directly to pet owners. 10 on your side, Stephanie Harris went to the business today to find out what more about what happened. Well, a husband and wife own Conley Herps Incorporated, and they want people to know that all of the animals are accounted for, and none are on the loose, and the snakes they breed are not dangerous. They said that they have suffered a huge loss. Their love for the animals is obvious online. The Conley Herps Facebook page is full of pictures and video of a Hampton couple's growing business. We've got animals from a Super Strike project including an adult animal, give you a good idea of what these babies look like as they grow. Around 7.30 Thursday night, an employee called to tell them there was a fire inside their building on Copeland Drive. It is incredibly overwhelming. It is, um, it is not something you expect to happen when you take as many precautions as you can, but life happens. Rebecca LeCompte and her husband are cleaning up inside and counting their losses. She says being a legitimate and inspected business, firefighters knew what to expect when they arrived. Investigators determined the fire was an accident started by one of the heaters in a snake enclosure. They need a nice heat source um, and so um, yeah you have heating pads there's under the tank heating pads and we use um, excellent thermostats that normally do not malfunction but you know stuff happens. On their website LeCompte's husband explains how they started the business in 2003 as a result of his lifelong passion and love for snakes. His wife grew to love them too. Mystic potions always a favorite. My favorite color. They are comforted now by an outpouring of support from their community in Hampton and on social media. Well, the reptile community is an amazing, amazing community, um, and you'll often have them band together to help each other, um, and that's already happening. Now, while they suffered a great loss of snakes, they want to reassure their customers that the rodent business will continue right now and does not appear to have suffered any heavy losses. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.